Imagine a world where you can travel from Europe to Africa in just a matter of minutes. No more waiting in long lines at border control, no more dealing with the hassle and expense of air travel. The idea of a tunnel connecting Europe and Africa may seem far-fetched, but it's not as crazy as it sounds. In fact, the concept of a tunnel connecting the two continents has been around for decades, and with recent advancements in technology, it has become a more realistic possibility. Europe, Asia, and Africa are connected to each other by land, and are often referred to as the supercontinent, Afro-Eurasia. Afro-Eurasia is the biggest contiguous landmass in the world. This landmass encompasses a significant portion of the world's land area and population. But, there is no direct connectivity between Europe and Africa, with the only land connection being through Western Asia and the Sinai Peninsula. Europe and Africa are mostly separated by the Mediterranean Sea. The idea of a Europe-Africa tunnel first surfaced in the late 19th century, when French engineer Albert Mathieu proposed a tunnel connecting France and Tunisia. Since then, various proposals have been put forward, including a tunnel connecting Spain and Morocco and a tunnel connecting Italy and Tunisia. However, it wasn't until the 21st century that the idea began to gain traction, as technology advanced to the point where such a project became more feasible. To ensure that you don't miss out on more great content like this, please take a moment to like and subscribe to Africa Info Hub. Also, click on the notification bell. Without much delay, let's jump right into the video. Building a tunnel connecting Europe and Africa would be a monumental engineering feat, and there are several technical issues that would need to be addressed before such a project could become a reality. There are two locations in the Mediterranean Sea where Europe and Africa are very close to each other, the Strait of Gibraltar, where they are only 14 kilometers apart, and the Strait of Sicily, where they are only 145 kilometers apart. Building a bridge or tunnel between these two narrow points would revolutionize global transportation and trade. Europe, with 746 million people and 25% of the world economy, and Africa, with nearly 1.3 billion people and 3% of the global economy, would be connected, enabling easier movement of people and goods. However, building such a structure would be a major undertaking and would be challenging to accomplish. The Strait of Gibraltar, which separates Europe and Africa, is only 14.3 kilometers wide at its narrowest point. Many bridges are longer than this distance, such as the Channel Tunnel that connects England and France. The main issue with building a bridge or tunnel in the Strait of Gibraltar is the depth of the water, which is about 900 meters at its deepest point. This is much deeper than the 115 meters at the deepest point of the Channel Tunnel which took over six years and billions of dollars to construct. Building a 14 kilometers long tunnel or bridge at this depth is currently beyond current engineering capabilities. However, it may be possible to build a tunnel if the location is moved slightly west, where the distance between the continents is longer, approximately 23 kilometers, but the water is shallower at about 300 meters. A comparison can be made to the Rockfast Fixed Link Tunnel currently under construction in Norway, which will connect two municipalities by a 27 km long tunnel under a fjord, reaching a maximum depth of 392 meters. It will be longer and deeper than a potential tunnel between Europe and Africa at the Strait of Gibraltar. However, the Strait of Gibraltar has additional challenges beyond length and depth. It sits on an active geological fault line, the Azores-Gibraltar Transform Fault, which has historically caused major earthquakes in the area. This fault line poses a significant engineering challenge for any tunnel or bridge proposed in the area. Engineers would need to design the tunnel to be able to withstand these forces and minimize the risk of collapse or damage. Building a tunnel connecting Europe and Africa would have a significant environmental impact that would need to be carefully considered before such a project could move forward. The construction of the tunnel would likely have a significant impact on marine life in the Strait of Gibraltar, which is home to a diverse array of fish and other sea creatures. 
the construction process would involve dredging and excavation, which could disrupt the ecosystem and displace marine life. The construction of the tunnel would also require a significant amount of land and would likely involve the removal of trees, plants, and wildlife and potentially damage sensitive ecosystems. Constructing a tunnel across the Strait of Gibraltar would be a major challenge, but the idea of building one across the Strait of Sicily is even more complex. The distance between Sicily and Tunisia is 145 kilometers across the open ocean, and Sicily is not connected to the European mainland, so a bridge would also have to be built between Sicily and the Italian mainland. Despite these challenges, some ambitious proposals have been made, such as building four artificial islands between Sicily and Tunisia, and connecting them with five separate tunnels. This would provide a non-stop rail service between Palermo and Tunis, with a travel time of three hours each way, and would connect the rail network in North Africa with that in Europe. The proposed project of building a tunnel between Europe and Africa could potentially be combined with a long-planned and troubled Strait of Messina Bridge, which aims to connect Sicily with the Italian mainland. The idea of building a suspension bridge across the Strait of Messina has been around since the 1990s, but it has faced many challenges and setbacks. The Italian government cancelled the project in 2006, due to budget issues and again in 2013 for the same reason. If it had been built, the bridge would have been 3.3 kilometers long, supported by two enormous pillars 382 meters high, taller than the Empire State Building, making it the tallest structure in Italy and one of the tallest in all of Europe. It would have included six freeway lanes, a railway that could support 200 trains per day, and two walkways. In addition, it would have been the longest suspension bridge in the world, more than double the length of the current longest suspension bridge in Japan, and would have greatly increased travel speed and ability between the Italian mainland and Sicily. When it comes to the feasibility of building a tunnel connecting Europe and Africa, opinions are divided. Some experts argue that the technology is now available to make such a project possible, while others argue that the cost and environmental impact would be too great to justify the project. The cost of building a Europe-Africa tunnel would be astronomical, with estimates ranging from tens of billions to over a hundred billion dollars. The main issue with building a tunnel or bridge between Europe and Africa, or even Sicily and Italy, is that there are already affordable and easy ferry services available. The cost of building a colossal megaproject such as the Strait of Messina Bridge, estimated at over $6 billion, is not cost-effective when compared to the existing ferry services. For example, there are three ferries that leave between Palermo and Tunis every week, taking about nine hours and costing $40 to $60. There are also regular ferries between Spain and Morocco across the Strait of Gibraltar that take about an hour and cost about $35. These ferry services, though not as convenient as a bridge or tunnel, are much cheaper to maintain. So is a tunnel connecting Europe and Africa really necessary? The more you kind of think about it, the less sense it makes to build a multi-billion dollar bridge that may or may not even be feasible in the first place. Building a bridge between two points is quite difficult, and for a mega project like this, you'll need expert knowledge of concepts like physics, low distribution, tension, torque, gravity, and much more. From project cost to technical issues and environmental factors, building a tunnel from Europe to Africa may not be a smart decision at the moment. What do you think of our video? Comment below with your thoughts and let us know. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button, hit subscribe, and share with your friends on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter.